Good morning everyone. Today we have a new lesson about plants. Our objective is a group of plants according to observable features. Look at this picture. What do you see in the picture? trees, flowers, do you think all of them have the same parts? Of course yes, all of these are plants and all of them have a flowers, stems, roots and leaves but they can all look quite different all of them have roots to absorb water from the soil and have stems or trunks to hold the plant and also have leaves to make food but each one has different shape here we have four plants all of these are plants and all of have flowers stems roots and leaves but they can all look quite different for example the stems of trees are trunks and the flowers on trees are blossom if we look at this picture okay this part called the flower right But this one called blossom okay before we start talking about classification and how we put the plants into groups let's answer this question Which of the following images is called a trunk? Which one is called a trunk? Number one, or two, or three? You have 30 seconds to think about this question. Excellent. The answer is number three. Okay. Now let's talk about classification. Okay, classification means about things into groups depends on their similarities and differences. So why classification is important? Because helps to organize things and easy to compare different things okay there are a million of plant species on earth have you ever wondered how difficult it would be for a scientist to study each of them while all the plants have similar parts of plants that are essential for its living 
but often they look different. While there are many ways to study plant classification, one way is to group them based on their sizes. We see a lot of plants around us. Some plants are big and strong, like this one in the picture, and some plants are small and weak. Trees are big plants, they are quite strong, they have many branches, and the flowers are very small and weak. Okay. Let's answer this question. Okay, in your note, write the answer in your notebook. The picture shows uh, some leaf shapes, numbered one to ten. Which leaf in the picture best matches the shape of each leaf below? Which one? Look. This leaf matches with any leaf from these. Choose a number, write a number here. Okay, you have uh, one minute to think about this question and don't forget to write the answer in your notebook. Okay, time's up. The first one matches with leaf number uh, 8. And the second one with leaf number 9. Okay. Also, we can use a classification key uh, to classify flowers. The flowers could be grouped by number of petals, petal shape, leaf shape, leaf edge, and petal color. Okay, w we have here another question. Okay, we want to uh, put these flowers into two groups. Depend on uh, numbers of petals. So you have one minute to think about this question.
Okay, the answer is group one, A, C, and D. Look, A has four petals, C has four petals, and also D has four petals. Group two, B, E, F, they have three petals. Okay, here we have another question. We have six flowers. Give one way that the flowers could be grouped and show the groups. They could be grouped by what? Okay, they could be grouped by leaf number, uh, leaf shape, for example. So, group one, A and C, because they have the same leaf shape group two b d e f because they have the same leaf shape look um group or a this is a and this is c they have the same leaf shape and d D, E, F, they have the same leaf shape. Okay. This is your homework. Give two other ways that the flowers could be grouped and show the groups. They could be grouped by what? Give two other ways and write the groups show your groups group one and group two thank you for watching